All right, so in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to start on uh, <clears throat> on the edit video uh, CMS system for individual users. So uh, we're going to put a link in the user CMS file itself um, that you see here on the screen. Um, and we're also going to create the file and the page. Um, so users will be able to edit their own videos, um, changing all the various information from categories to title or whatever it may be. Um, so yeah. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take the index file, we're going to copy and paste it, and we're going to rename it to edits videos. We're going to open it up, and we're just going to change around our metadata. Rid of this. And for now, I'll probably just leave this here as nothing. So yeah, we're just going to leave the metadata as nothing for now. Maybe we'll eventually change it. So in our left column here, we're going to get rid of all the content, which isn't very much. Um, so inside of here, our left column, we're going to put in our PHP tags. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in an if statement to check to make sure that a user is currently logged in. Um, so to do this... And somebody was actually asking me how to do this. I believe his name was Mark Brody. Excuse me if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. But he was he was curious on how to on his own website um, how to make it so if you're not logged in to not show content or, or something like that. Um, well, this is how you do it, man. So the if statement you simply put if username. So if the username is present. So if, if the user's logged in. Um, and then you do whatever code, and if they're not logged in, you, you have your error message or your echo message, whatever you want to say. Say you must log in to edit videos. Uh, just something real simple, and I actually forgot the, forgot the echo statement right there. Okay, so inside of this if statement right here, we're going to connect to our database. So that's in our the scripts uh, slash uh, connect.php and we're going to close the connection um, and so inside of here we're going to put in another if statement that we're going to say if and we'll say if dollar sign get ID uh, which we haven't created yet and we'll get to in some point maybe this video or the next um, typing in a new location, so I'm not quite used to it yet. Um, so for our if ID, if get ID, that's going to be a dynamic, uh, it's going to be a get variable that we're going to get. So essentially kind of the same setup as the videos page itself. And that will determine um, whether or not uh, we want to be editing a video, editing a video, or displaying all the videos that a user has. So in this else statement right here, this is going to be our query. So mysql underscore query. So our query, we're going to say select all from, and I believe it is videos. Um, and we want to say where user ID, and actually, um, that's actually user underscore ID equals, and this is going to be the user ID. So dollar sign user ID. So if the user ID for the video is the same as the user ID of the user that's currently logged in, that's essentially what that's saying. And then we're going to have our num rows, mysql underscore num underscore rows. And here we have just our query. So after that, we have another if statement. So we're saying if um, num rows is greater than zero, so essentially it's saying if any videos are found for the current user, um, and if none of no videos are found, we're going to echo, say, your account has no videos. Uh, yeah, that'll work for now. Um, and inside of here, we're going to put a, a little bit of spacing, and we're going to have a while loop. And our while loop is going to make it so we can get each and every um, piece of information from the database that we need to display to make it so um, a user can uh, 
can see all their videos. So we're going to say dollar sign row equals MySQL underscore fetch underscore a sock, a double S O C. Whoops, that doesn't need to be there. So inside of here, we just simply have our query. And the reason I said put in a little bit of spacing here is because we're going to have two echo statements, uh, one before and one after the while loop. Um, the one after is going to have an end table tag. And the one before it is going to have a start table tag. And we're also going to put cell spacing equal to eh, 5 pixels. Should be good. Not 50. 5. And a cell padding equal to 5 pixels as well. So that's just going to give us a little bit of spacing. Um, so inside of our while loop here, we need to say we need to get each individual piece of information from our database. So we need to get the ID. Um, if you want, you can get the user ID, which isn't really necessary. We can also get the name if wanted. So after the name, scroll down a little bit, we need to get the title. Then we need the description. So you get the drift of it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause and get all. Okay. So after you get, get, get after you get each individual piece of information that you want to get, and for the purposes of this video and the community site series, is we're not gonna be getting any of the any of the other information um, because we don't want the users to be able to edit that stuff. So we don't want them to be able to edit the number of views, the comments, and the date. Um, so yeah, so we're just going to have this. So inside of here, we're going to have a tr tag, so a column tag, or a row tag, sorry. And then we're going to have a td, and I'm actually going to space this out. Um, we're going to have a td tag, so that'll be a column tag. And our first one here is going to be the title. So that's going to have the title of the, um, of the video itself. So, it, yeah, pretty self-explanatory, really. Um, and then what we'll have is we will have, let's go with video ID. So we'll display the video ID. And then this last one is going to be a button. So, um, so what I was thinking is we would use get ID um, to be able to use a get method and getting a single ID. But instead of doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to grab, um, we're going to use a submit button instead. So we're going to say input type equals submit, uh, name equals edit btn, value equals edit. That should be, that should work. And also we need to have another um, input, and this time our type is going to be hidden. So it's not going to be shown on the page. And the reason is because we need to be able to, uh, we don't want this displayed, and we also need to be able to determine what the ID of the video that's going to be edited. So, because you have to have some sort of unique piece of information for each video, so you can grab all the information for that video out of the database and save, inf save new information. So this will be, we'll use ID, and the value will be our ID value. So that essentially right there is the first half part, I guess first, maybe a third, first third of the edit videos page. So up here, what we need to do is we need to say if dollar sign underscore post, and this will be um, edit btn. So we're getting our post variable for our edit button. So that's making it so we can check the sh to make sure that the edit button is has been clicked. Um, but before we do that, we need to create a form, and we need to set the action equal to something, and the method equal to post. Go ahead and end the form down here. And since a form doesn't really show anything, it doesn't really matter where you put it. So we're going to set it up to site slash edit, uh, edit videos. Um... Yeah, that'll work. So we'll do edit videos. Um, now, if you were to obviously upload the file and test it, and you have some videos on your account, then it would show all the videos you have that you've uploaded. 
Um, so yeah. So before we do that, though, I'm going to add in sort of some aesthetics. And this is just for my own uh, personal reasons. So inside of here, we're going to have just some text. This will be video title, video ID. Um, let's go ahead and actually make this bold. And the reason I'm not putting any code or any text for the third area here, whoops, for the third area here, is that's because in that third column, all we're ever displaying is, um, is, uh, a button. So, we don't really need to have anything there. So, that essentially is the first third of the edit videos page. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload it. So I'm actually going to refresh. Edit videos. Upload. So, if we now just manually redirect to edit videos, you can see we have our text for all the videos and the ID and everything being displayed. Boom. Just like that. Um, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to kind of add in a background color to make it so all of these kind of stick out a little bit. Um, yeah. So in down here where we have our TD, I'm going to have to set a style of background tech color. And this will be pound EEE. -E -E. Eh, that'll probably be good. But just for testing purposes, I'm going to go ahead and set different colors for these other ones. So we can test out different colors. Um, CCC and DDD. So I'm going to upload that again. So if we refresh the page, you can see we have three different columns, each being a different color. So I think we're probably going to go with CCC as our background color, because it's that grayish color. Let's go ahead and copy that. So we're going with a dark gray as our background color. So if we now refresh the page, so we have all of this nice looking stuff here. So what I'm also going to do is each of these videos, since they all link off to their own their own page, what we're going to do is we're going to make the title an actual link itself. So href equals um, this will be dollar sign site slash videos question mark ID equals and this will be our ID variable and we can go ahead and whoops and we can end the anchor tag for that and also what I'm going to do is just in case you want to I'm going to make it so the video ID will link off to the the, pa the video page on um, YouTube itself so just so you have that option so our link is going to be http colon forward slash forward slash www.youtube.com slash watch question mark v equals I believe that's what it is so we're going to oh we need to end oh we did okay so oh we, this needs to be v equals video id and yeah that should be good so we'll upload the edit videos file and refresh. So we now have a link so that's going to the videos page on the site and this is going to YouTube. So I'm just going to open this link and mute. Um, yeah, so it's loading up the YouTube video. Awesome. So now we have that nice little little coolness there. So essentially that's the first part of the edit videos page. Um, in the next video we will continue on. 